foxes! We're finally doing it. It only took me like a good month and a half. Actually, not month and a half. Like a year and a half. But we're finally going over fox personas. I totally didn't just randomly start an intro for a random YouTube video. Hi, YouTube. Ah! Fox personas good. Fox personas are great. What's not to love about them? They got cute ears that like go up and down like this. They got a cute snoot, cute muzz. You got whiskers if you really like whiskers. Cute, adorable beady eyes. You got a lot of floof. You got paws. You got claws if you like that. You got a nice tail. I think I just said tail, but tails are nice. You've got so, so much that you can enjoy about foxes. What is there not to love? They're literally perfect in every way, shape, or form. Except that the main stereotype about them in the family is that they're bottoms and I don't understand that well most of my friends who do have fox personas are bottoms so I guess that's more of an assumption than it is like truth okay yep bottom yep but even the fox personas are just like yep bottom but yeah fox furries or foxes in the furry fandom people have wanted me to talk about this for a good year and a half now but yeah um foxes are kind of a big thing in the furry fandom as you all know they're probably like the most common persona species to have in the fandom if you were to choose a persona more than likely, the most two common types you'd see are wolves and foxes. Or if you can't choose between either of them, you go with the wolf, which is a fox-wolf hybrid. Even if they might be the most common species to have in the furry fandom. Who cares? They look fucking great. And I'm going to show you guys why they look fucking great. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be going over fox personas, the ones that you guys submitted to me via Twitter, which we'll go over that tweet in a sec. But also, I want to add something uh, a bit different to this quote-unquote series of, about different personas and animals in the fandom. I want to go over some nice little fun facts about these animals, too. So we're going to go over fox facts. I don't know how this is going to be integrated in in a good way, because most people hate learning and hate being told things that they might not care about. But foxes are interesting, and animals are interesting. And this is the furry fandom. Animals are real. Fuck you. All right. So let's go over some fox facts. I don't think that's right. They're saying fox facts, and they're using this image to describe a fact about foxes. I feel like this is false advertisement. The image looks like someone, something I'd see straight out of, like, Smosh. Foxes live from two to five years? What the fuck? Dude, that's actually really sad. Foxes are small to medium sized omnivorous mammals belonging to several genera of the family candidate. So, they're canines, or they uh, relate to the canine family. Pretty cool. I mean, I always saw foxes more canine-like than uh, cat-like even though they act like cats. Which I guess makes sense for the comment that you guys made of like, they have canine hardware or dog hardware and cat software. It makes sense. So if you enjoy the software of cats, but enjoy the uh, hardware of dogs, you are going to love foxes. Kind of makes me want to have a fox for showing, I'm not going to lie. Nine fox facts you may not know. Oh, well, this is adorable. Look at this. Look at this set. This is so nice and cute. Number one, foxes are more like cats than dogs. What the fuck? Why? You no, no. They're like, they relate to the canine family. What? Like, what do you mean they relate to cats more than dogs? Thought it was the other way around. Looks like dogs act like cats. Similar to cats, foxes are nocturnal. Oh, okay. Due to their vertically slanted pupils, they have increased visibility in dim light. Oh, okay. Foxes also climb trees, use their whiskers to navigate, and even stalk their prey like cats. Gray foxes can retract their claws too, just like cats. Additionally, male foxes are called dogs, while female foxes are called vixens. Oh, so that's why, like, vixen is referred to, like, you know, some people's nickname when they're just a fox that is fi- God, Okay, that explains a lot of the people that I know in the fandom that are called Vixen. Fun fact number two, foxes live in underground dens. I mean, I, I always thought that that was the case. You know, that's a fun fact. Foxes live underground. They like burrowing. I mean, cats do the same thing. Like my cat, like, or my sister's cat keeps like hiding under my bed now that I'm gone because he just likes the ambiance of it. It's closer to the ground, nothing underneath it, and he can just vibe down there. You know, the whole thing of like, if I fits, I sits with cats. I guess that makes sense for foxes. So yeah, your whole argument of foxes being more like cats than dogs is actually pretty accurate. I just thought they were in the canine family. All right, fun fact number three. Foxes are smelly. Yep, foxes stink. They have a sickly, musky scent that comes from the glands at the base of their tails. If you start smelling this around your home or in your crawl space, it may be an indicator that foxes are near. Just like gamers? Yes, exactly. Foxes stinky? Confirmed. Fact number four. Foxes make 40 different sounds. Oh, so that's why you don't really know, like, what the fox says. As it turns out, foxes can produce a variety of sounds, up to 40 to be exact. Most noticeable is their scream-like howl, which is sure to send a shiver up your spine. That's pretty interesting. I mean, a couple of my friends say a lot of things when they 
they try, like, making noises to me in fox noises. One of my friends barks. They're just like, Bork, sorry. And then someone just like, ah. I mean, Luminix literally just screams at me. So there's that. Fun fact five. Foxes are solitary. Unlike their coyote and canine relatives, foxes are solitary creatures. They prefer to hunt and sleep alone, except when they're busy raising their young in the den. So, hey, you know, I'm pretty lonely. I, I think I relate more to fox personas, to be honest. I mean, I don't like being by myself. I like company. I like being with people. But, like, ultimately, I'm alone. Smile. All right, fact number six. Foxes have impeccable hearing. I mean, they got the ears, you know, that have, like, cones. It's like a cone, but it's more of a cone than other ears. So, like, they can hear a lot better. I mean, these aren't really fun facts. These are just, like, I kind of assumed that. I want some interesting, like, lore to the foxes, you know? I don't know if I'm getting it right now. Foxes are extremely playful. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they laugh at me, all that stuff. I mean, yes, they are playful. I'm looking at you, furries. I know foxes are playful. What about other fox facts? I need more fox facts. 25 fascinating facts about foxes. Aww, look at him. He's up to something. He's scheming. I don't like it, but it's still cute. All right, all right. Foxes are related to dogs. What the fuck? You said they were more like cats. Why are they related to dogs? Why are you debating me like this? Two, foxes are solitary. So yeah, we already know that. Foxes have a lot in common with cats. Yeah, we already got that whole spiel. There are 12 true foxes and many relatives. Okay, so that makes sense. At least from what you've told me that there are like over 47 different species or subspecies of foxes, 37 of which are called foxes but are not exactly related to them, but 12 are true foxes. Y'all got a lot of imposters, okay? You gotta vote off the imposter. Gotta vote off the sus one, so do that. Red fox is most common. I mean, it's true in the furry fandom too. Foxes use the Earth's magnetic fi- so foxes are the beholders of gravity, as we know it. Fun fact. Like a guided missile, the fox harnesses the Earth's magnetic field to hunt. What? Other animals like birds, sharks, and turtles have this magnetic sense, but the fox is the first one we've discovered that uses it to catch prey. Huh? You could throw you, the Earth off balance if you wanted to. Just saying. It's pretty cool. I guess that's about it for fox facts. Okay, so, for the tweet. I ended up tweeting out, The time has come. Send me your fox personas. With a little winky face. Just to get no, like, we're doing this. This is happening. We're doing it live. And, uh, I got over 400 replies. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a nice butt that I just saw. Hope I see it again later. Anyways, Fox personas. Let's start with ne Nexka. Nexka's a wolf, though. Nexka, you're not a fox. Ah, I see. So, uh, Nexka, whose persona, nonetheless, is adorable as fuck. I mean, look at this design. I pray to the fursuit maker for this one. <laughs> But he's got a cute fucking persona. But like, I think I remember Nexka saying the amount of times he was called a fox. Like he's like, oh, you have a fox persona, right? It's like, no, I'm a wolf. And I don't know if this is Nexka just memeing on me because that was totally just written in in his handwriting. That's actually pretty good, not gonna lie. But like Nexka the fox or wolf. I mean, I guess it works because foxes are like related to canines, but also related to cats. Foxes are just gonna take over the world at this point. Honestly, that's just what's gonna happen. Happen. And I wouldn't mind. He's pretty cute. Seriously, I like Nexka's Sona. I like his just his character design, his gradient of the colors in general. Every Sona is secretly a fox. Look, if we're going by the basis of the furry fandom, we've all got a little bit of a fox in all of us. So yeah, Nexka the fox. Very, very adorable. Anyways, next fox for Sona. I guess we could go over Living Legions. I mean, look at this fox listening to music. I like it. Very cute. Very cute fox. Look at those ears. Those are accurate. This is an accurate picture with regards to the ears because most of the time whenever i see people listening to music it's like it's like arthur you know you got the ears up here but it's like you're listening to headphones like this it's like huh so, so like i like the accuracy here that's the one thing i like about just the ears it's accurate it makes sense here and i like it so living legion your your fox is a 10 out of 10 doesn't even have a name bottom didn't like how he looked might seem about getting a new ref of him done right someday you know what all that matters is that you want a fox for someone okay easy all right, more fox personas. Liko, do you like Jet? This has some energy, and I don't know if I'm prepared for this energy. But, uh, Liko, Lyco, I don't know which one it is, but, uh, it's a Fennec. I mean, we could do a separate video for Fennec as well. But holy fuck, is he cute? That is a cute fucking Fennec, because, like, Fennec are foxes. So, like, you know, you got the mix, and it works, and yeah. Holy shit, he is small. Three foot eight? Oh, man, he's a little baby man. Exactly. Three foot eight, little baby man. Easy. I'm still not getting over this. <laughs> this has too much energy. Ha 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 ha! 
That has way too much energy that I'm just not ready for at all. Ooh, hello, Seamus. So this is supposed to be my friend Riley, Papa Riggles, their fox persona, known as Seamus, and it's an Irish fox. And honestly, the name Seamus just, oh, it, it bleeds Irish. I love that name, Seamus. But like, look at this bean. I love the colors. I like the little like clover on the back. I love the markings. It's very, very cute. Those eyes too. I like him. I like this Irish fox, okay? I like it. The leprechaun fox. I kind I kind of dig it. 10 out of 10 fox. I mean, all of them are literally 10 out of 10. I say 10 out of 10 of like, there's any other rating? Nah, it's just 10 out of 10 for all of them. They're all great foxes. I'm just saying. Jacksepticeye fox. I could kind of see it. I mean, a bit eh to assume that, but also I could kind of see him rocking this persona. Jacksepticeye, subscribe to me, please. Shout out, please. Though I couldn't imagine Jacksepticeye's voice coming out of this Seamus, you know? So I kind of get what you mean with that, Sebby. But still, Seamus, what a good bean. I love him a lot. I want to give him a big hug. Big hug for the fox. Ah, he's so good. Ah, he looks so good. Oh my God. It's like, yeah, yeah. You know, fox persona is so stereotypical. Like you, you have no creativity. Absolutely no creativity here, you know? None, none at all. None at all. Like, fuck you. Look at him. He knows what's up. He knows what he's doing. Who's the artist? The artist is, it's actually in the bottom left, Volpro Fox. That is fucking adorable. I like this fox, not just because he's, yes, but like also, look at this design. Look at the fucking colors. They work so well together. You got like the blue and then like the off like yellow or like tan and then orange. It works. He's adorable as fuck. He's a lot of things all right that I can't really say on this, uh, this stream right now, but I think you get the idea. I think you get the idea of where I'm going with uh, my thoughts and feelings on this, uh, this wonderful fox persona. He's hot. Yes, he's hot. He's hot. And, uh, you know, if this was like, if there was like a, a dream daddy simulator, like furry mod, probably go with this one. Not gonna lie. Oh my God. Look at that neck floof too. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Yes, exactly. See, you know, what's up. You know, what's up. You know, what's happening. Oh, Oh, Lance! I was supposed to see them this weekend. I was supposed to see them this weekend. I am kind of sad. Lance! An absolute sweet bean. Yo! We just found the first ever Gray Fox in the furry fandom. Let's fucking go! <laughs> First off, I want to pet them so bad. Look at those beans. Look at this bean. I want to pet. I want to pet them so bad. But seriously, first ever gray fox ever in the furry fandom. I'm joking. But like, seriously, they're adorable. I love them. You get the good pets from me, okay? Oh, mythical red fox. I've seen you around a good couple of times. First off, I absolutely love this art piece. Like separate from like the fox. This art piece, so fucking cute. I want one. It's so fucking cute. And I love it. Little like fursona within the Microsoft Paint. Mythic. And also just your nerd fox so fucking cute like look at him a nerd it's a fox nerd i love fox nerds fox nerds are great nerd foxes are great this is a nice fox nerd like look at that <laughs> Look at your fucking fox. I love the eyes. Look at that fucking glow on the eyes. Adorable. I love it. Aw, that's a cute draw over. Look, you're just a nerdy fox and I appreciate it. You don't even have to have like big colors or something extravagant. You don't have to, you don't have to throw up a rainbow sometimes. Sometimes you, just, you can just be a simple nerdy fox and that is adorable as fuck. But still, cute as fuck fox. I get to see a nerd. I love nerds. I love fox nerds. They're so cute. I think this is the point where we go over a mix of the submissions that I received separate from the tweet. I have a wonderful friend, a wonderful, wonderful sweetheart friend who I was gonna meet at Megaplex, but oops. I'm not going to that. Wonderful friend who is a fox, who's also a dork, a nerd, just like Mythical Red Fox, an absolute sweetheart, known as Zilch. You all know Zilch. You might know Zilch. An absolute sweetheart, an absolute adorable fox, who's like one of my best friends in this fandom, who I literally like learned about the furry fandom through their art. I think I talked about this in like a few videos, but like back in like 2016, 2017, I saw their art and I'm like, yo, you have cute as fuck art. And then I started following you and it was cute as fuck. Now he's one of my friends. Friends. A really good friend of mine. And like, he is such a cute fucking persona. And he's such a cute dork. I just want to show off a couple of pieces of this adorable bean. Look at him. Oh, look at all of him. But so much Zilt. This is when he like started drawing. And then like, this is sort of like the comparison of like then versus now for like art. Because Zilt draws. It's your art progression pick. And look at this. Look at how cute. I still love how you kept the sweater. You just improved it. It's so fucking cute. Because yeah, I saw your art around this time to this time. 
2016 to 2017. That's how I found like the furry fandom and all that. I realized that there was an art furry fandom and all that shit. So adorable. Like, look at him. Look at that tail. You always had a big tail ever since. Actually, no, hold on. Your tail gets bigger the more you age. Is that what happens with foxes? Their, their tails get bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, it's still really cute. I love your tail. It's adorable as fuck. And then more of like, oh my God, look at him. Can't say no to this dorky fox face. Come on. He's so cute. He's such a happy little bean. He's so dorky and nerdy. He's about to explain like computer stuff to you. Love it. And I loved, I loved this bean so much. I got an art piece with him. So like Zulch and I, we've gotten some cute art pieces together. And he wanted to commission this from Orlando. And this is the recent piece that we got together. Yeah, you did commission this from Orlando. And it's like Zilch and me. I mean, this was probably going to be us at Megaplex. Just like hugging and be like, oh, I've missed you so much. I haven't seen you since 2018. Going on to 2019. But still like, oh, I love him. I love him. Big hugs, big life jacket hugs to Zilch. But yeah, Zilch, an absolute sweetheart. Just an absolute good bean in general. God, I love him. He's a good fox. He's another example of another dorky, cute, nerdy, adorable fox who's just here to have a good time and chill and be sweet and adorable. That's the thing. You, you just, foxes are just cute. They're just adorable. At the end of the day, that's all it is. All right. Draxler, the bean. Look at that. Not a cropped piece in sight. I know. The only safe for work art you have of your fursona. But Draxler, another fox. The fox that we know and love that everyone calls a bottom and all that. The only four art pieces that are safe for work that we can show on this stream that are also not cropped. You should have included some of your fursuit pictures because I remember I took a fursuit picture with you back in like Anthrocon 2018. But yeah, Draxler, a simple fox but a good bean nonetheless. Now that's just precious. That's just adorable. Foxes can be cute. Look at that. He's wearing a toothless kigu and he's with toothless. That is adorable. That is precious. That is precious. That alone is just adorable. I love it. It's so cute. Look at how adorable he is. I love it. I'm sorry. I'm just melting over this. Oh yeah, and then he wears a life jacket too. So I've gotten a couple of life jacket art pieces with Draxler. My god. The only other fox that wears a life jacket. The only other fox. This is the only life jacket art piece that we're gonna have of a fox, unfortunately. Draxler stays life jacket. You should too. Foxes stay life jacket. You should too. All that jazz. It's pretty cute. It's very shiny. And then Hypno. <laughs> or just being high as a kite. I can't really tell because this looks like a trippy background, but also you're hypnotized. Yeah, you get the idea, but still cute nonetheless. Cute fox, like the dimple. It's really cute. So Alakai or Necro Necros. I can't remember your original name, but Alakai sending in their character, which honestly, I think we went over it last time where we did it in the Fursona roast. First off, their art, very edgy and metal as fuck. I love it so much, but also they're a Kitsune. They're very pink. Like I fucking love this. They're cute as fuck and edgy as fuck and cool as fuck. It's like that cool kid that you kind of wish you were, but like, God, I'm not that cool. I'm not gonna be that cool. Oh, but yeah, you know, cute fursona, cute kitsune, all that. Is there like, I I'm assuming there's some like, I don't know, history behind uh, kitsunes or some magical thing behind them. I, I don't really know. There's lore. I don't know about them, but they just have multiple tails. And I think that's more luck or more lives. I can't really tell, but uh, I don't know. Alakai is, I, I fucking love their art. I think I still have their art as my background on my phone. Yeah, I do. So pretty cool. Cool. Pretty cute. I like it. Ooh, oh, hello. Hello. Dad Fox. I get some dad vibes from this and it's very fun. First off, I love it because it's in a beach setting or like an ocean setting. I love it. It's adorable. But like, look, oh my God. This is just cute. This is just a normal fox going to the beach and having a good time. It's my dad. You found him. <laughs> yeah, Zilch, I found your dad. Aw, this is adorable. We rock in the fox with glasses. Look, see, like half of the submissions that I've gotten are foxes with glasses and they're just adorable. They're just nothing but adorable. I love them. Foxes with glasses are very classy. You know, I fucking love Zip. This is adorable. Their fox is adorable. I love it. Also, how do they keep their glasses on? That's really weird. Oh, Kedu. I haven't talked to them in a hot minute. They've got a cute fox. Let me just say, their transition and their character, I love what they did with their hair. So this is Kedu, you know, their original ref, female, red fox. Very cute. Sammy Tanuki, I love it. And they started changing their hair with their character. I just, I fucking love this. I love the hair. I love that hair. Adorable. And the outfit, that's just adorable. Cute as hell. But like, look at that hair. I love it. Holy shit. I love it. Oh my God. I love what you did with your fursona, Kedu. So cute. An adorable fox. And yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. Red fox. <laughs> the typical design. It's still, I fucking love this. This is adorable. The ponytail is fucking, it's a cute look. It's a very, very cute look. And then you just have it flowing 
in here like, oh, I love it. It's adorable. Kedu, what a nice fox. What a good character. I love it. Now that we're done with this, we do have one more that one of my friends sent to me. A fox. A good fox. A good bean. A good bean. You all know and love. I'm pretty sure most of you, if not all of you, know and love. But uh, one last one and then we'll wrap up the fox personas. And maybe we'll do a second video. Who knows? I, I don't really know. So my friend Keith sent me the ref sheet after everything and didn't reply whatever to the tweet, but just sent me the ref sheet of like facts. I'm like, okay. So Keith, the bean, the facts. He's just the facts. That's it. He's just a streamer on Twitch that's a facts. Absolutely adorable bean. Keith Luck. I didn't actually read any of this. I haven't really seen much of the ref sheet. I just really only grab it when I'm commissioning stuff for him and I, and that's it. But Keith, absolute sweetheart. Absolute sweet bean. Of course, with Keith, you can't go wrong with a bandana. Always has the bandana. People say it's a scarf. I thought it was supposed to be just a bandana, but you never not see Keith with a bandana. First off, I like the feral look here. It's very cute. Look at that effects. Also, he's got blades in his rough sheet, which is very cute. Very cool. And he's got glasses. He's a nerdy fox, too. Another nerdy fox. He's still really cute. An absolutely adorable bean. Also, I made for you, Sue. That's the other thing, too. We haven't seen too many fox fursuits in our submissions either. So, like, hey, we're getting a bit of variety. Variety is the spice of life. A nice fox to end off going over foxes on. But, yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for our fox personas for now. You may or may not have a chance in Foxtober to do it again. But still, thank you guys for your submissions. Cute fox sonas, cute all that. Yeah, your mom, foxes, that's life. They rule the world. That's about it.